Welcome to The Wall. In today's video, I want to show you why marriage is a bad deal for men. What better way to do that than by showing you videos of divorced women? You'll see a video of a woman who admits to marrying several men throughout her life just for their money, only to end up divorcing them, which proves profitable for her. Before we start, brothers, we strive to bring you the best possible content for your enjoyment. Support us with something small like subscribing to the channel or liking the video. Leave a comment sharing your experiences on the topic. This helps the channel reach as many men as possible who may need this content and your experiences. So, without further ado, let's begin. My story is not unique. I left a marriage after 15 years, I had three kids with the man, I had built a life with him, and I really wanted it to work. Deciding when it was time to leave, deciding that I had tried hard enough, deciding that yes, it was worth to take the risk of the unknown, for leaving the known, which I had become very accustomed to over the last 15 years. And even though I was miserable, there was some security to it. There was a little bit of at least I was comfortable in knowing what to expect. As the years would roll by and every birthday I got the same card that said next year will be better, I somewhere deep inside thought to myself, there's no way. And the only way that my life is gonna change is if I leave, but I had three kids. And I was also thinking, wait, if, if my happiness means that I'm taking away the kids' happiness and all of the guilt that came into play of, am I being so selfish that I wanna leave this? And is it bad enough? But here's the kicker. The kicker is, is that if you are in a place where you are absolutely miserable, you're being treated horribly, or whatever your circumstances are, but you know in your heart that the only way to change your life is to leave, let me tell you that it is, you will carry guilt with you that it will be extremely difficult. And when you are looking for people who you're like, okay, well, she left and look how her life turned out. And you're looking for examples and your mind is researching for the evidence that you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna tell you that no matter what it is, that's the unknown that's on the other side. If you are in a situation right now where years are passing by and you are still miserable in a relationship and you're not being taken care of and you're not being seen and you're not being heard and you're just being alone in a marriage, the unknown is terrifying, but there's nothing more terrifying than looking back and seeing all the years that you wasted living in fear. Wow, this woman was probably married to the devil himself because it's a whole hero's journey she's telling us, just to cover up the fact that she destroyed her home. For the wonderful reason all modern women have, she deserves to be happy. Here I wonder, isn't marriage supposed to be the union of two people through thick and thin? Or is it just a commitment to make the woman happy? Because listen to her, playing the victim, saying, I'm being selfish by prioritizing my happiness over my children in a home where I'm not seen, where I'm not heard. Brothers, it's clear they heard her loud and clear, but since she was unhappy, she just wanted to leave. I bet no matter what this man did for her, she would always find something to complain about because when a woman doesn't want you, Everything you do smells bad to her. Now she wonders if she's selfish, looking for examples to see if it's okay. Because what she seeks from others is validation for leaving her marriage, taking her children out of their comfort, of having their father in their lives just because she wants to try with other men, to risk her children with a new stepfather who knows what tricks he might have. But she doesn't think about any of that. She's not selfish because, as everyone knows, she deserves to be happy. In Pennsylvania, the courts decide in a divorce based on equitable distribution. Equitable distribution does not mean equal division of assets. It means what the court considers fair. The biggest factor the court's looking at is the difference between the party's incomes. What the court may not consider is if your spouse cheated. If your spouse cheated, it has no bearing on how the assets are going to be allocated between the two of you. The only thing that will matter if your spouse cheated is whether you're going to have to pay them any type of alimony. It's a factor the court would consider if you were making more money. If you make less money than them, the fact that they cheated has no bearing on your divorce. And that's why they keep cheating on you over and over again, because it doesn't affect them. In every state, the divorce rules change, but it doesn't matter where the case goes. The man will always be the most affected because the woman is always the victim and the man always has to take responsibility. Divorces are painful, according to the stories of many women, but for whom? For the man who sees how he loses his home, half of his money, part of his pension plan, has to pay alimony. To top it off, 
The worst part is when you have to give a woman alimony while she never remarries. You know she'll never marry or work because she never worked with you. How do you think she'll do it now when she's being taken care of and doesn't have to give you anything? This system is horrible because it's tough to get ahead in this country, only to end up with nothing later on. Seeing how Chad, a man who brings nothing to the table but his seed, is enjoying everything you worked for. If you doubt it, check out the comments the brothers will leave about divorce stories in this video. They're shocking. But watch the next video to see that marriage only benefits the woman. We were talking about whether there should be no fault divorce or fault divorce. We were also talking about, you know, uh, should there even be marriages today? Kind of what's your, what's your t uh, take on, on, on some of these issues? Uh, well, I mean, I love marriage. I've done it like, you know, a couple of few times. So, you know, that's my thing, you know. <laughs> a couple <laughs> of few times. And I, and I hate to say, you know, in my younger day, you know, I used to see it as a sport. I got married for sports. I did get married for the wrong reason because a lot of women, they don't know how to, you know, cash in on a divorce, I mean, a marriage. Oh, you know, but I have the formula, so I did it for fun. Wow. <laughs> okay, no. wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait. What is the formula for cashing in on a marriage? You know, marriage, well, doing not, marriages well, not, for fun. Not cashing in per se, but you know, getting a high value man and getting them to the altar. A lot of women don't need, don't know how to do that as you're a professional, because a lot of times as professional women, we lead with our education instead of leading with our hearts or with our, I guess, sexuality in a way. So a lot of women, they cannot get married to the man they want. And so, I mean, I kind of figure out the formula for it. I mean, you know, I can teach y'all that want me to, um, but that'll be another service. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> one thing is <laughs> with marriages, I mean, when you look to marry someone, you also want to see them as someone you can possibly divorce. And in a positive wow. way. Like, wait, 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 say that again, say that again. When you get when when you get married to someone, you want to see them as someone you're able to divorce. As in, you don't want to get married to an asshole, and he's oh. like, you know, they just gonna through a divorce. I mean, ooh, excuse me, like rape you. I meant to say through a divorce. You want to get someone that you know, kind of where their heart is, where their mind is. So if things should go left, you don't have to worry about turning into a vicious kind of person, even though things do happen. But yeah, so all of the husbands I married, I kind of figured it would be easy to divorce because I knew they were decent men to, you know, begin with. I don't get no more of this. In short, you get married while eyeing the assets you'll take from the man once you leave him. That's why you, Mr. Simp, thinking of getting married for love, with your belief that she's different, don't make her sign a prenup. I'm telling you, don't curse her later in the divorce because you entered into a business deal where you weren't prepared but your partner was. As I've always said, on the wedding day, only one person gets married for love, and that's the man. The woman marries for a lifestyle. She only sees you as a man who, if she has a child, will provide maintenance. They know that you'll build your wealth, and their children will inherit it. But not only that, they know that the day they leave you, they can take a big piece of the pie without having to work at all. But Mr. Simp gets married for love. Brothers, these modern women are like cats hunting rats, chasing after high-value men. Do you think it's because all these men are loved? No, most are just men who bring a lot to the table. These women nowadays want everything easy. Why do you think they invest high amounts of money to stay competitive in the sexual marketplace? Why do you think they leave good men for richer men? It's because all they care about is money. Tell the one you think loves you that you want a prenup, and I bet love will walk out that door with two suitcases in hand. These women are playing to win. So I got divorced in my 40s, remarried at 50 years old. And here's what that taught me about love and happiness. Going through my divorce in my 40s, incredibly difficult. From being used to saying we, to now trying to get used to saying I again. And then the biggest challenge though was being able to find myself in finding meaning again in all of it. I had to navigate through so many feelings because it really affected my self-worth. And I'd ask, am I ever gonna meet somebody again? Do I ever wanna get married again? I often said no. Can I pull off a wedding dress in my 50s? So many crazy questions. But I was incredibly lucky to meet my now husband who loves me for who I am. He doesn't try to change me. I don't want to change him. And he really embraces me for what I bring to the table at this age. And it makes me feel more confident in myself and where I wanna go next. And we all deserve that. 
So this whole experience really taught me not to settle for anyone. And I've heard from a lot of you, and this is my dad's advice and I love it. It's better to be alone than lonely with someone. And yes, I did have a wedding at 50 and pulled off the wedding dress. Something very true is that a woman will always have a simp behind her no matter her age. Now, does this mean it happens to all of them? Because in this same video, there were many comments from women hoping this happens to them, saying, I want to be the next one. If you see this, it confirms that it's a small number of women who manage to find another husband. So many of them resort to keeping a younger man, you know, the classic Chad, who's just there for fun, while she buys him a car, pays for his house. Yes, because nowadays, there are many sugar mommies. There are hundreds of videos of women talking about dating younger men. The reality here surpasses fiction. Many women, after hitting their mid-30s, hit the wall. It's a minority of women who manage to get married because men are passing over these women. Because we all know that the wall spares no one. <laughs> I told myself that I wasn't going to talk about my divorce online because I wanted to respect people's privacy. But I feel like I'm going insane. I have been separated from my soon-to-be ex-wife for less than a month. And it is just obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting from my friends, from my family, from people who barely know me, from my lawyers. Like, I'm grateful. But what I think people don't realize is like, if you are not in the divorce, so like all my friends and my family, whatever, like their lives continue. And I'm over here drowning, struggling to breathe, crying all the time, feeling so angry, feeling like this 24 seven. And my life has to continue too. And I'm getting up in the morning and I'm doing the best I can because that's life. I'm a 30 year old, like I'm an adult. I have a big girl job. I, that's just how it works. But I feel like I am screaming and I'm like back here screaming and everybody else has continued walking forward and they can't hear me anymore. And it's not their fault. The anger that I feel right now is not their fault. I just want this to be done. I want this to be over because I feel like I'm losing my mind. And each day, there's a new thing that I have to deal with. And getting divorced from a person who has become a version of themselves that I do not like that I do not recognize is so heartbreaking it's heartbreaking because I'm married to this person for a reason I love this person when me and this person got married we discussed if we were ever going to get divorced we were going to do it in the most amicable way possible. And I tried. I tried my very best. And maybe she is also trying her best. But her best isn't good enough. And maybe my best isn't good enough for her. But <sighs> I need my therapist. Or a punching bag. I can't stop laughing at this. Welcome to the world of men. I'm showing you this video so you can see that they don't even forgive each other. On the wedding day, tears of happiness flow, but on the day of divorce, they're tears of pain. This woman thought divorce would be easy, we split up, and that's it, each one takes something. But she didn't remember that it's 50 to 50 that she married a woman. A woman always wants to see her ex miserable, so if she can take everything from you, believe me, she will. It's funny how they say women aren't bad. It's men. But here are two women, killing each other for assets. 
Now it won't sound so bad to eat sausage instead of arepa. So, welcome to the world of men. Hopefully, they'll take half of your money, half of your house, and make you pay alimony. So you can see how wonderful it is to be on the other side. Here I wonder, what does the judge do? Because look, she says she doesn't recognize herself. Of course not, she's going after your money. Brothers, if it's difficult for a man to deal with a woman, it's even worse between women. That's why they believe marriages have the highest rate of domestic abuse. So, once again, welcome to the world of men, you reap what you sow. <laughs> We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What do you think about the divorce of these two women? What do you think about the woman getting married to secure good divorces? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.